Hey guys, EBV Man here, and in today's video, we're going to take a look at a ultra short throw projector brought to us by Epson. This is the Epson Peak Vision Ultra LS300W. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, the Epson LS300W is an ultra short throw laser based projector that is capable of displaying an image anywhere from 70 inches to 120 inches with just a matter of feet away from the wall. This is really going to transform your viewing experience no matter how small an area you have in your home. It has 3,600 lumens and it performs extremely well no matter if you have the blinds open or if you have the blinds closed. Now the Epson LS300W, not only is it a theater in a box giving you an amazing viewing experience like this, but it also has a built-in soundbar, literally making this a theater in the box. This is Yamaha bass, has great bass mids and highs, and it could even be used as a speaker. Now while this projector has a Bluetooth remote, it also has everything that you need to control the projector right from the projector itself. You can power it on, you can enable Bluetooth, you could also increase and decrease the brightness or turn off the screen. Now this projector also features a manual focus knob so that as you're adjusting the image to get the best possible quality, all you have to do is move the dial up or down to focus based on your wall and your settings. Now to keep your projector running in the best performance possible, the system also includes a built-in filter system that can be replaced easily to keep your projector running smoothly. Now on the back of the projector you do have an HDMI where you'll be able to load videos. You also then have two HDMIs, one of which is an ARC HDMI, and then also you have a servicing port as well as optical out if you want to connect this to a surround sound system. Now in our setup we have the Epson LS300W projecting on a ALR screen. This actually happens to be a portable um, ALR screen that allows you to have a lot of flexibility where you're going to do your movie viewing. So this is a ambient light rejection screen that really eliminates all the light around you so that you can get the best viewing experience. And as you can see here with the Epson screen the blacks are black, the reds and the colors just are vibrant and popping. It does a really really nice job reproducing all this video quality. Now from a gameplay perspective, I'm sure you'll ask, does this projector perform well in a gameplay setting? Now from a latency perspective, it has the same type of latency that you'd expect from an ultra short throw projector. So if you are really a hardcore gamer and you're looking for a low latency projector, uh, this will not do it for you. However, if you have casual gaming, and latency isn't a matter or a factor for you, then it'll work fine. Now let's take a closer look at the projector's interface and all its settings. Now for those of you who are familiar with Android TV, you'll find yourself right at home with this interface because it is full version of Android TV. So it's gonna have all your apps, you'll have the Play Next capability, it's gonna show you streams that you've looked at or things that you may wanna consider based on your viewing preferences. And literally, this is the full version of Android TV that you'd find in, I would say, other devices like the Nvidia Shield or anything else that is using Android TV as its core operating system. Now in the upper right hand corner you do have your notifications, you have your input area, and then you also have your settings area. Let's take a deep dive in settings. Now while we won't go through all of the features that are inside of the operating system, I just wanted to highlight the fact that you have all the standard features that you'd expect from an Android TV solution. So here you can see you have your Android operating system, you can see the version that this is running, and you can see that you can also restart your projector in this area, name the projector, uh, look at your storage, pretty much all the standard capabilities that you would find in Android TV. Now the included remote has great shortcuts and a lot of features. So first of all, you can see at the very top, you have a YouTube uh, button, which is gonna launch YouTube automatically. And it also has some settings. I'm gonna go ahead and press the settings button right here so you can see what you'll see here. Now what you'll get immediately when you go into the settings area is the ability to adjust some projector specific items. So this is not really focused on the Android operating system, but this is really gonna give you the ability to set uh, and control some of the features of the projector itself. So we'll go into the picture area. Let's bring that up one more time. We'll go into picture so you can see what you find here. So here you can change various modes. You can go with color mode of dynamic, vivid, bright cinema, and we'll, we'll see, we'll change a couple of these to see how uh, it comes up on screen. But this is one of the changes, so now we're going in bright cinema. Let's go, go with cinema. It makes it a little bit darker. We'll go in again and we'll choose natural, right? And what we'll do is we'll go back, and I like vivid. So we're gonna go back to vivid and we're gonna choose that. So that's the, my preferred setting. Uh, you also have light output, and I haven't modified this at all. So this, these are the settings that are coming out of the box. It hasn't been calibrated. So you have your light output, you have your color temperature, you have your contrast, which is set to dynamic um, high contrast, your uh, noise reduction, your uh, details, which you can increase or decrease, aspect ratio, and then your uh, HDMI video range. Now in the sound area, this speaker does feature Yamaha sound. And 
they sound amazing. You have great bass, mids and highs, everything sounds spectacular. And this is literally a theater in the box. So if you're not looking to purchase a surround sound system and you want to start out with just your projector, definitely you can do it with this projector. Now some of the settings that you can adjust in the sound area are the following. You can go ahead and choose your sound mode and there's various sound modes. You can have a theater mode, TV mode, studio mode, stadium mode, concert mode, karaoke mode. And one of the cool things about this uh, projector is that not only is it a, a viewing device, a smart TV per se, or smart projector, but it could also be used as a smart speaker. So you can actually uh, Bluetooth your phone to the projector and actually use it in speaker mode only. Now, while there's several settings in the sound area that set this projector apart, one of the ones I wanted to share with you is the clear voice area. Now, if you've ever had a situation where you're watching a movie and it's action packed, you see explosions, you hear all this stuff going on, but you didn't quite hear what the person said and you find yourself going back, you'll want this area. This section basically highlights the voice so that while you get all that action, the voices will be clear and they'll be defined. And you can go through several settings. You can either go high, low, or turn it off. I prefer to have it either on uh, either of these, these two settings. I like it on, I don't like turning it off. So you can either turn it on to low or high and you won't miss anything that is being said in the movies. Now the display area is an area that you should also visit when you get a projector like this because this is going to give you the ability to make up for some of the imperfections that you may have on your wall. So for example, if we go into the corner adjustment, you literally have each one of these dots represents an adjustment parameter. And if you look at the right hand side of the screen, I purposely left some of the adjustment off so you can see how this works. So I'm just going to go over here for a second, I'm going to choose it and I'm going to bring this down and you'll notice that the white line is starting to show up on the screen. All right, so I'm going to get back. And then I'm going to go down to this area here and I'm going to bring in the corner so that the white line also appears. So what I'm doing is I'm adjusting the projector so that the image is right on the screen. Now if you have a wall that may suffer from some imperfection, uh, this is going to give you the ability to adjust it. And again, look at each one of these points of adjustment that you can make and you saw how quickly it was for me to adjust it. The other thing I really like about this projector is that this projector has a, a focus dial. Now, I've reviewed a lot of projectors on the channel and there's pattern projections where you have to hit plus and minus and you have to decipher what's going on on the screen. And one of the things I appreciate about the Epson line, this specific projector, is that it has a, a I would call it a manual uh, or analog uh, focus uh, adjustment tool that allows you just to by literally moving it up or down to get the right focus. Uh, this is super easy, super duper easy for anyone to adjust the projection and to get the best possible image. Now one other area that's really important, especially if you have children, is to have the motion sensor on. Uh, this motion sensor prevents any child or anyone who gets close to the projector. It basically uh, notifies and actually turns off the projector or blocks it so that your eyes don't get damaged because it is a laser. And because of that, it has a safety feature that protects your children or yourself in the event that you get too close to the projector and you don't want to look into the light. This is definitely one of those solutions that you don't want to look into the light. Now the last thing I share with you is the settings area and then the settings area and again this is all projector specific you can set the auto timer you can set the menu timer you can set a high altitude mode HDMI CEC capabilities so you can see all the things that you can turn on here or off you know using the CEC capabilities and arc and then also you can um, determine what the power button will do so you can determine if it's going to be a suspend or it's going to be a shutdown. Now, for those of you who are interested in streaming and how well this projector performs, I'm going to go ahead and run a stream of a recently released video that we just released yesterday on a new laptop. Check this out. Hey guys, the Man here. And in today's video, we're going to take a look at laptop computing. Specifically, we're taking a look at... See how fast that was? It's a great streamer. So guys, that wraps up our review of the Epson LS300W. See you in the next one.